Hey everybody, welcome, welcome to a brand new uh, Dave show. Dave show, Dave's podcast, whatever. It's Dave's podcast. No more Dave Nation. Here, just a beautiful day. Sitting out here, and it's beautiful. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you folks out there. It's very beautiful. Here in Canada. That's right. Canadians, as they say. In quotation, Canadians, right? Anyway, here we are, another beautiful day, another beautiful day in beautiful Canadian province. doesn't matter where I am in Canadian province, we have a beautiful day today. And I just want to share a lot of views out there to all my listeners, viewers, and subscribers, and views on YouTube. You know the deal. Anyway, I'm going to give you the best podcast ever, and it's going to be the Best one ever. Best one ever. It's going to be the best one ever for my concern, or maybe anybody's concern out there on the platform. So we're going to do this uh, a way that I'm going to be happy about, and you guys are going to be happy about. We're not going to tell any jokes here. We're not going to be uh, clowns. We're not going to be anybody, anything such as that. We're just going to be who we are and what we're going to do here. Uh, this is just going to be a Dave's podcast here and out, and I'm going to be appreciated. I want to talk about a few things um, in this world. We're talking about uh, testing. Is Nancy Pelosi, well, let's say, the Speaker of the House in uh, Capitol Hill? You could do all the testing you want, but you didn't need the results. There's a, a there's a apparently a drug that uh, uh, that uh, uh, President of the United States is taking. It's called fentanyl. I'm not too sure if it's fentanyl. Some some drug apparently was never been tested. Uh, you know, never been tested. Apparently, it can kill you. Um, uh, quarantine, whatever, wherever it was. Anyway, they never did any testing. They assume that it's okay. Uh, Donald Trump, who is the President of the United States, takes this on his best judgment. That's right, folks. Best judgment. And hope it doesn't kill him. I guess whatever, uh, the President of the United States wants, gets, kind of thing. Um, but remember, it's I guess I guess without daughter's uh, <laughs> doctor's orders, uh, he's taking this. He's taking this. Uh, apparently, it's highly recommended for uh, uh, the coronavirus patients. Apparently, now I'm not a doctor. I don't think you people around the world are doctors, unless you're really set. Unless you're <laughs> unless you're really geared to this sort of uh, uh, unless you really took. Uh, you know, you know, if you're really a doctor and a nurse in a hospital setting, yeah, I can understand that. But, like I said, folks, do not take things that your doctor didn't subscribe to uh, or give you a prescription for. Uh, always never do that. Never do that. Don't take risks. Uh, I, I know people like to do that, but don't take risks on your health. Never do that. Never do that. They're looking out for your best interest. These doctors and nurses are looking out for your best interest. They really truly are. They're not tagonizing you. They're not uh, bullying you, as the word would say. Uh, they're not just uh, uh, giving up like submission <laughs> in wrestling. I'll give you like a nal analogy, a wrestling analogy. They're not bullying you to a submission. Uh, they're, they're giving you good things to take, making you healthy, not terrible, not a bad person making you well, making you better, not worse than you already are. They're trying to make you better. They're trying to make you as a person, as individual in this world, better than you already are when you came into this. Um, but Donald Trump, who uh, apparently it was highly recommended for these uh, coronavirus patients that got tested and everything, take this drug, apparently, this drug, so-called drug, I forget the name of it, uh, apparently, uh, they're putting warning signs on this thing, on this pill, that uh, that they're taking second guessing at it. Um, it might um, do damage. This pill they're taking. They usually people who go to hospitals and go see their doctors and stuff usually get subscribed pills. Uh, they normally do that in a certain setting. Um, and you usually go by doctor's orders, taking the right pills, so you won't feel sick, feel awful than you already are. Um, 
And that's the whole notion of that. That's the health uh, system. The health system is there to heal people and to make you better, not worse than you already are, that you came in with. Uh, a lot of people said that on radio station and TV station about this whole scenario, about you making an, uh, making you feel better than you already are or before than you went in there. So they're trying to make you better, not worse than you already are. Uh, they usually highly recommend what you need and what you don't need. Uh, you know, they're looking out for your best interest. They're not antagonizing you. The doctors and nurses, they're not antagonizing you. They're not there to uh, you know, bully your submission, as they say in wrestling. Uh, uh, they're not there to do that. They're not there. If you want to go, if you want to do that in wrestling, go by all means, go do that. Go do that. Go beat the living crap out of each other. You know, I don't know if you sh I should recommend this to anybody, but yeah, if you feel that you want to fight each other, go right ahead, knock yourselves out, kind of thing. But that the house feel is not what it's at. That, uh, wrestling is not where the hospital's at. Hospital only heals people. It doesn't make them worse than they already are. Uh, they make, they're not, um, they're, they don't heal people that much. Um, they're there to make people better, not worse, in the health field. Um, they're there to make you better. They could only do so much in the health field when the stuff was tested before they put it out to the public. Uh, they don't put out stuff that make you worse and worse and worse. Uh, and then you don't feel so good. You know, they don't, they're not out there to make you worse and uh, throw up and everything. They're there to make you better. Whatever you need, they'll, they eventually got it, essentially. So folks, this is what I'm telling you about the health field. They're there to make you better. Make you better than you already came in with. Uh, so that's the whole notion of that, folks. This is what I'm talking about, the health field. We'll put this in big title. Um, so, yeah, the health field is there. Thank God for the hospitals. Thank God for the nurses and doctors. If it weren't for the hospitals and doctors, uh, there would be a lot of deaths around this world. A lot of deaths. Not due to the coronavirus, but just the normal, everyday, you know, people getting killed, people getting knifed, people getting sick, illness, all that sort of stuff in the world today, if they didn't have hospitals, nurses or doctors, everybody will be passing away due to illness and everything. Thank God there's hospitals and nurses and doctors that make you well out there to really, really make you better than you already are. <laughs> Pardon the pun. Uh, so they're there to make you better, not worse, than you already are. Uh, we, uh, that's why they got hospitals, that's why they got doctors and nurses. They're there to really help you out. They're not there to bully you like wrestling. They're not, you know, punching like a punching bag. <laughs> you know, they're there to uh, heal you, to make you feel better. To make you feel better than you already are. Essentially that, if you know what I mean. And they're there to give you advice, recommendations, and uh, what you can do, what you could do in your, in your health field. That's what they're there for. They're essentially there for that reason. So, folks, this, this, the topic is about health and health in general. So that's what they're trying to do. Doctors and nurses are trying to do their darndest. Not due to coronavirus. Before all this happened, when you got the, like, the flu to your normal, not feeling so good, not to uh, throwing up all the time, not feeling your best, you go see a doctor. They always say that in... TV shows to radio programs always have it checked out. They always say that time and time again. They do mean that. It's not like a commercial ad where you hear 20 times. Uh, they say when they mean it. If you're not feeling too good, there's always a way to make you better. They're not. They're not like. They're not like wrestling. It's not like wrestling where you go in there being beat up by people. They're not there to beat you up. They're there to give you advice, to give you a recommendation, and you go with it. The best judgment you have, go with it. And yeah, that that's my recommendation. That's my recommendation for everybody out there. Really, it is. Truly, is. Health field is not like wrestling. Wrestling is wrestling. Health field is the health field. If you want to do wrestling, go ahead. Go out to wrestling ring and beat the living crap out of each other. And that's wrestling. That's when you want to. You really want to get. Uh, you know, you really get anger out. That's when wrestling comes really good sometimes when you want to get your anger out 
If you want to get your anger out, get a uh, person you want to, you really, really want to be a puncher bag with. <laughs> Go in a ring, settle it out, and you'll feel better after. You'll feel better. Usually what they'll do is, like, it's called the stress test. They call it the stress test. If you feel that you're a pointless kind of person, go get you stressed out by going in a wrestling ring and beat the living crap out of everybody. And that'll get your frustrations out. You know, it's like a punching bag. It's like a punching bag in boxing. <laughs> you know? Yep. Oh, right to the gut, right to the face. Yes, that's what they say in wrestling. <laughs> right to the gut. <laughs> and that ain't going to be good, trust me, in wrestling. That's not going to work for any of us. But anyway, if you want to, if you feel that you, you want to get your anger, your stress level out there, go out, go in a wrestling ring, beat the living crap out of anybody, and you feel good after. You feel like you are a winner. You want to feel that you're a winner, not a loser. You're a winner. Your confidence—it's like a confidence builder, in a way, folks. So bear that in mind. It's like your confidence builder. It can go both ways on the opponent or your other person. So it can work both ways. Just think of it, folks. If, you want, if you're testing your stress out there in the world today, go in a wrestling ring, beat the living crap out of someone, and you might just might feel good. And uh, your, stress level, uh, your stress level will be gone. I chance you not. Go in a wrestling ring, fight it out, get your stress level up there, and just really, if you're feeling, you know, not your best, just try and do it. Get every strength you have, and they originally say, pull through, pull through in this. You can do this, folks, you can do this. The uh, I can mentality is always burning in someone's brain. I can do this. You can do this. The whole mentality of that is you can. Not you can't do this, you can do this. Be motivated, be you know, be really motivated. As I always tell people, go be motivated in what you do and what you do in life. If you want to, if you want to go in a restaurant and beat the living crap out of someone, do that. Get your stress level, you know, not really high, but really get it out there. It really, it really gives builds up confidence. It builds up self esteem. They call it self esteem, not low self esteem, higher self esteem. You know, just, uh, sometimes people have that stress level where they just want to, you know, it's like a punching bag. <sighs> you know, get your anger out, you feel good right after. Trust me, it works for everybody. Doesn't matter if you're a big or small person. Everybody has that stress level in their lives. Everybody has their stress level at some point. It's like, uh, it's like the pressure cooker on an uh, oven when you boil water. It's like that pressure cooker. And we all have that pressure cooker when we, you know, just say to yourself, hey, I can do this. I can do this. Just motivate yourself. <laughs> you can do this. You, you got to be motivated. You got to be like other people. You got to be motivated to do this. It's like a punch bag. We're all stressed to the max, as they would say. We're stressed to the max. The only way to do that is go in a wrestling ring or a punch bag as a boxing guy. Get your frustrations out. But there you go, folks. All you need is build your self-confidence. They always say build your self-confidence. You'll feel good after. And don't, don't, don't have a heart attack when you do it. Don't have a heart attack when you do it. Make sure you know what you're doing. Yeah, so stress, we all have stress levels. As humans on the planet, we have stress levels. We either have big stress levels or we have small stress levels. We're okay. As long as, it, as they say, as long as it doesn't kill you. As long as stress doesn't kill you, you're doing fine in my books. So folks, just if you want to get your anger out there, go out in a wrestling ring, go in a wrestling ring, beat the living crap out of somebody, or go in a, uh, just a punch a bag. Punch a bag, like boxing bag. And that's highly I recommend it. So, folks, this is about health. Health in a certain way. Doctors and nurses are only there to make you better, not worse than you already came in with. <laughs> they give you a recommendation 
they give you a recommendation and a lot of other things. And you can, uh, as they, they usually give people options or ch they choose what to do next. So they give, you give people, our fellow humans on the planet here, options. You give them options, you know, what they want to do next and whether they want to take this. You got to give people options. Options, you got to be motivated. You got to say to yourself, hey, I want to take, I want to go options here. You could do this. You could, and you can do this, remember? You could do this. If you be motivated, you can do this. You know, every wrestler, if you see the WWE every week, they got to be motivated to do this. They got to be really motivated. They got to be all in the mind. All in, it's all in the mind. The psyche's always working overtime. You gotta, you gotta be motivated as an individual person. You gotta be motivated. If you, uh, just as long as it doesn't kill you, as long as it doesn't kill you, you do great. And so, sometimes it gives you self confidence on everybody that you're around with. And sometimes it builds that uh, self confidence, and you feel good after. Remember, you'll feel good after. Yeah. And people will take notice. Some people will take notice of that self-confidence. And it, sometimes they want to share it with them. That's okay. They can share it. Build their self-confidence. They're always good to build up their self-confidence. And you can do this. Just tell people be motivated about it. Have that self-confidence. You'll feel great after. <laughs> you can do this. The I can do this. Mentality is good. It's healthy, if you ask me. You can do this. You can go out there and do this. You can do it. You can play soccer. You can play basketball. You can, you can do whatever you want to do in your life. You have choices. People, you get, you get people choices. They know what to do next. You know, it's so whatever you, whatever your motivation to, whatever your motivation motivates you, do it. Whatever motivates you, do it. That's what I'm always saying. Whatever drives you to do what you do best. <laughs> as long as you don't kill yourself in the process, folks. So bear that in mind. So be motivated. Do what you do best and as long as it doesn't kill you. Uh, doctors and nurses are only there to give you recommendations on things you should subscribe to, to you name it. The health field's there to help you out. Because, uh, you know, like I said, you, uh, if you're worse off, you'll be coming out of the hospital feeling better about yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. and like I said, it's all about motivation, my friend. All about motivation. See, people will take notice of your motivation. <laughs> they like to share it. They like to share it with you, not at you. So if you get that motivation, people will take that motivation and share it. Just share it around. Oh, so there you go, folks. Whatever you do in life, just be motivated. That's all I'm asking. You, you don't want to become worse than you already are. So, folks, that's my mentality. That's my, my uh, faith. That's my faith in the Word of God for you folks out there. Believe in what you believe in. It's like a test of strength. It's like test of strength. What you're good at, what you're good at in terms of a of a person, of a motivation person. And go with it. Go with it. And whatever your heart goes with it. Your your heart will tell you if you're good for this. Okay? <laughs> Be motivated. People will get, take notice of your motivation. You know, strive high, as they say, strive high. <laughs> I'm not kidding, folks. Strive high, you'll do the best that you can. <laughs> People take notice of your of your confidence, and all around they would take notice of you, and they'll say, "Wow, you have a lot of confidence in your life." That's great. That's wonderful. <laughs> so I'm going to leave you with my final thoughts here today. My final thoughts is with health and motivation. That's my final thought, everybody. And do what you do best. This all I'm asking for everybody out there. Just do what you do best, and let God take the rest. I really, I really mean that, folks. Let God take the rest. I mean that. It's like a slogan. It's like a slogan out there. Let God do the rest. Be motivated what you like to do in life. And let God 
Maybe he just guide you a bit. Just a bit. Be motivated. Folks, I, I let I let God speak to me. I let God speak to me in every certain way. So I let God in my life. I know you people wouldn't do that. So I just want to let you know, folks, we are not here on this planet to pass away due to coronavirus. I'm not here to pass away due to coronavirus. Hopefully for not. But if that happens, the world will be okay when I'm left this world completely. But I want to motivate to the people that are out there listening to me on my on my only podcast that I got today. That's a word of advice I would tell you people. Just go out there, do what you do best, and let God do the rest. <laughs> and let God do the rest. It's like a slogan kind of thing. Uh, let God do the rest. He'll guide you in your life, your past in life. And let God do the rest. Because... At the end of the day, as they say, if, if people like to say sometimes, at the end of the day, we're all going to reach our goals in life. If you're going to walk on top of a mountain to go underwater, like uh, like underwater, like the ocean water, and yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, people have gone up to the sky, up where NASA is, to the uh, all the way from the uh, sp uh, space shuttle, all the way down from the lake shore. All the way down to the lake shore, the bottom of the depths of the water, and uh, people have really, really, really strive. They really strive to be the best. They strive to be the best. You got that out there? Strive to be the best. They originally uh, with NASA. It's all thanks to NASA. They built a space shuttle that can take them way up there, up in the sky, and we can travel many galaxies. You ever, you ever heard of? Many galaxies? Well, there is many galaxies in the world today. Many of them. One of these days, we're hoping, hopefully this world is going to see the many gla uh, galaxies in the world. We haven't left the planet yet, but I'll tell you this much, folks. There's been, there's been um, few suggestions that NASA is going to build a uh, passenger vehicle for go other planets. In the near distant future, not now, but near in the distant future, I would say in the next thirty years, at least next thirty years. Until then, I want to tell you guys: if NASA were to build something like that, I would definitely sign up to that, folks. I want each you guys to realize that if NASA is going to build a uh, a passenger, sort of kind of like a space shuttle kind of thing, definitely sign me up to it. I'll be there in a heartbeat. Like I said, folks, I'm getting that motivation out there for you folks out there. Really, really, in my sound of my voice, I'm really, really motivating everybody around the world. No matter what lifestyle they get into. Just be motivated what you do, and you'll come back tenfold in life. You'll, you'll feel great at the end of the day. End of the day, you'll feel great. You'll be the best person in life. You really, truly are. God, Let God do the rest. We all have God in our lives. Sometimes we need a little bit of guidance in our life. You always ask for God for guidance. He's always given us messages in our world today. It's not, it's not the devil, it's God. Our Lord and Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So with that, that in mind, we are going to speak of it. So the Bible is rich in history about everything to do in our lives. Jesus really died for us. He really did, and um, I just want to. I just want to put. Uh, uh, my friend once said, "Now get this, get this, get this. The houses, the buildings we have today are per, uh, are not permanent. They're the word they use in the Bible. They said it's only temporary. The word they use, temporary. Some Bible verse they say our houses, our buildings are temporary. That might be weird for a lot of people." But yeah, it does say that in the, in the Bible. One of the Bible scriptures does mention that. We're not, we don't have permanent houses, permanent buildings, permanent uh, uh, mansions to hotels. They're all temporary. If you read w what the Bible says about places we live into, they're eventually, uh, they're eventually, they're not really temporary. They're kind of like, I forget which, uh, where the scripture says that, but it says somewhere in the Bible 
that our houses are buildings, the places that we live in are only temporary. Uh, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to miss screwed to everybody. Go look it up in the Bible. There's a verse in the Bible that does mention that. Um, so, oh, we think we think we own everything. We think we own everything. We we kind of own everything. Once we buy this stuff, we own everything. Everything that we have. Our, um, <laughs> uh, don't joke about it. I'm not gonna laugh about this, folks. There was a there was a Bible verse. I forget what the Bible verse says. Uh, one of the uh, scriptures in the Bible says, I think I forget the name of the person in the Bible really mentioned. I think he went to Jesus. Jesus says, "Come with me, and just come with me without your stuff at home." So he went. He, he couldn't do that. He couldn't leave the stuff at home. So his stuff was more valuable than going with Jesus Christ. Uh, the stuff at home was more val more how do you say more t materialistic than going with Jesus. Whatever he has at home is more value than he goes with Jesus. He couldn't leave his stuff at home. So the word on the street says, you can't go with Jesus. You can't go with Jesus. You can never go with Jesus. The stuff you have, your buildings, your houses, are all valuable. They're all value what we hold in our lives. We just can't leave. We can't up and leave and make places be abandoned. We just can't do that, folks. Let me just tell you for the thousandth time. We all can't up and leave. You know, if Jesus Christ were to come down here and says, everybody leave your houses, your buildings, your uh, your stadiums, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They can't leave their Bibles at home. They just can't do that. There's a scripture in the Bible that does mention this. So bear with me, folks. Our houses, our buildings are... are <laughs> We're all, this is all temporary. This is all temporary. But like I said, folks, but our prize projections are forever. Forever. We just can't leave our stuff at home and go with Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. We just can't do that. Uh, I forget what scripture it was in the Bible that said this. Uh, somebody will have to look it up. Uh, but yeah. I think, uh, I forget the name of the person, the name of the Bible. But yeah, he said, come with me, you'll be with the Lord and Savior. That's when he was still alive. Uh, but they, he just couldn't do that. He just couldn't. The things he had at home were more valuable than going with our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So it was like more, they put a value. They put a, Essentially, they put a value on everybody. Everybody on this planet, they put a value on things mean a lot to them. When you have tornadoes, tornadoes hit worlds, uh, earthquakes to tornadoes to rainstorms to snowstorms. We're all going to go through this rough time, this rough patch. We're all going to go be there. We're all going to be who we are today. We're all going to go through this rough patch. It's not just coronavirus. It's going to be rain, snow, uh, winds gusted at 200 miles an hour to uh, things that we can't really comprehend. When we lose all that stuff, it's due to Mother Nature. It's not like somebody kicked down the door and smashed everything in our in the houses and stuff. When Mother Nature does that, we kind of lose everything. It's like um, our uh, our what you call our comfort blanket is not always there when we need it. So, like I said, folks, our places that we live in now are just temporary. All the places we buys, uh, we rent, buy, and everything else out there, these are just temporary things. Temporary things. People might scratch your head, but that's what the Bible uh, says about our living, our living, our living in this world. It's, everything is just temporary. We all live in a temporary world. You know, like I said, folks, I'm just motivating these people. I'm being like, I'm being like a uh, preacher kind of thing. I'm motivating the uh, crowd. I'm a motivated church to tell you guys this. Just be real with everybody. All this is going to be temporary. Everything we own is temporary. So bear that in mind, folks. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to see you on the next podcast. Until then, ciao for now, everybody.